Okay, now uh, 0 0.2 kilogram tennis ball strikes the wall horizontally with a speed of 100 meter per second and it bounces off with a speed of 70 meter per second in the opposite direction. Okay, um, now, um, okay, calculate the magnitude of impulse delivered to the ball by the wall. Good, now let's draw out the situation first. Um, okay, here's the situation. So, also we have a wall here. Okay, we have a wall. Uh, hold on a second. Okay, there's a wall. Uh, just write this. It's a wall. And a ball is coming. Okay, a ball is coming. Uh, a tennis ball is coming. Uh, yeah, uh, coming. Okay, the mass of the tennis ball is uh, 0 0.2 kilogram SI unit, good. Uh, with the initial speed of 100, uh, so this is U. Uh, we put as the initial speed is uh, to the right, let's say. Okay, so it's positive. Uh, because to the right, velocity to the right is positive. Uh, now it bounces off with a speed of 70 in the opposite direction. Uh, this is very important, this one. Okay, so if your initial speed, uh, this is your initial speed, uh, you put as positive 100, then now the final speed here, in the opposite direction, in the opposite direction, you need to put negative sign. You need to put negative sign. Okay? Uh, so, um, uh, now you bounce off. Uh, you bounce off. So, the velocity here, you need to put a negative sign. Uh, negative negative will sign means direction to the left. Okay? Uh, the speed here now is only 70. Okay? Got loss of kinetic energy. Yeah? Okay? So, you, remember, you should put a negative sign. Yeah? So, now find the magnitude of impulse. So, impulse is the uh, symbol J. Okay? <coughs> symbol J. Uh, delivered to the ball by the wall. Uh, so let's find out the J. Uh, so impulse is actually change of momentum. Okay, question A. Impulse is a change of momentum which is a momentum final minus momentum initial. Uh, final momentum minus initial momentum. Uh, okay, so um, ah, you can write this as MV minus MU. Uh, which is also uh, you can uh, factorize out the mass because it's a common term. Ah, so mass is uh, 0 0.2 kilogram. The final velocity is negative because it moves in the opposite direction. Uh, you should put a negative sign. Nah, don't forget. Uh, and then minus the uh, u is positive. Okay, uh, minus a positive value. Minus a positive hundred. Okay, so uh, what do we get for this one? Let's calculate. Okay, so I got the answer is uh, negative, negative uh, 34. Okay, uh, so what's the unit? Uh, it has the impulse has the same unit as the momentum. Okay, impulse has the same unit as momentum. Uh, so uh, which is a uh, kilogram uh, meter per second. Or you also can write as Newton second, yeah. So impulse has uh, two unit. You can either write kilogram meter per second or Newton second. Okay. So however, uh, the question asks for magnitude. You see that magnitude that means uh, uh, no no direction. Okay, no direction. Uh, so you 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 should write again the. Uh, answer as like this magnitude of j yeah just the magnitude only so magnitude don't have a negative sign okay don't have a negative sign you just put you just write uh, magnitude of j is uh, 34 uh, kilogram meter per second or newton second uh, or 34 newton second okay that's the magnitude uh, without a negative sign yeah this uh, because the negative sign just show direction. So uh, 
we know the direction is negative, that means to the left. So the impulse actually is uh, to the left. Uh, to the left because it's negative sign. Okay. So if magnitude only uh, the the magnitude, lah, yeah, you don't need to put a negative sign. Just write magnitude of J is 34. Okay. Remember the unit. Now um if the ball is in contact with the wall for 10 millisecond, 10 millisecond, determine the magnitude of average force exerted by the wall on the ball. Uh, this one, uh, I want you to be careful. Uh, this one is by the wall on the ball. This one also something you need to take note. Okay. Why? I will explain later. Uh, okay. This 10 millisecond is the time taken delta T. Okay, so he won the average force. Average force, that means uh, the impulsive force. The average impulsive force. Okay, average impulsive force. So how to find that one? Uh, very simple. So uh, it is um, B is equal to, because J is also equal to the average impulsive force multiplied by the time taken. Uh, so just now we got uh, we got uh, J is negative 34. He should substitute as a negative uh, 34. And then uh, find the force. Uh, time taken is um, 10 millisecond. Uh, milli, milli is what? Milli is uh, uh, exponent negative 3. Yeah? Milli. Milli is exponent negative 3. So you must convert into SI unit also. Right, so that is a uh, 10 milliseconds, so 10 exponent, negative 3 uh, second. Uh, now you got the force. So what's the force? Okay, so I got the answer is uh, negative uh, 3400 3400 Newton. Ah, this is the impulsive force. Okay. Uh, however, this question also asks for magnitude. Uh, magnitude only. Yeah? Magnitude only, so you should rewrite the answer giving only the magnitude. No need the direction. Okay? So you should rewrite its magnitude. Uh, the magnitude, so the magnitude of force is 3400. Newton. Ah, magnitude don't have a negative sign. Okay. Uh, if we just if we just ask determine the average force, then you need to put the negative sign uh, to show the direction also. If the question asks for magnitude only, uh, then you should rewrite the answer giving only the magnitude without the negative sign, without the direction. Yeah, just the magnitude only. It's a positive value. Okay. Uh, so this is the magnitude. Now, uh, I just want, uh, want to emphasize about the force by the wall on the ball. Uh, so here, uh, be careful. So what we gear, get over here is actually, yeah, force by the wall on the ball. If you look at this diagram again, uh, I just drag this down. Uh, if you look at this diagram again, uh, this uh, here, actually there are two forces involved. Here actually there are two forces involved. The one you get over here is force of this one is force of just want to write this. This one is actually force of wall uh, wall on ball. Uh, wall on ball. Uh, we can write as W uh, W B. Huh? Force of wall on ball. Uh, that means, um, you know, the wall, the or we can or we can say the wall push, uh, the the wall the wall push the ball. Okay. Uh, so the wall, you see, the wall push the ball away, push the ball to the left. Uh, this is the force of wall on ball. Uh, force of wall on ball. Uh, force of wall on ball. 
uh, uh, the question is uh, force of wall on ball. Yeah, uh, it has a negative sign. Okay, it has a negative sign. Now, but sometimes the question will ask, let's say question C, suddenly, question C asks for what is the force of ball on wall? Uh, what then? Uh, this one will be, uh, this one is uh, FBW. Uh, this one is actually uh, opposite of force of wall on ball. Okay, force of ball on wall, you know, the ball push the wall, the wall also push the ball. Ah, yeah, uh, the action reaction force. The you know the ball did push the wall. The wall also push the ball. Uh, the wall push the ball to the left. The ball hit the wall to the right. Ah, uh, so uh, this is the uh, uh, F force of ball on wall. It is positive value. Understand? Uh, just want to put it over here. Uh, this is force of wall on ball. Okay. And this is force of ball on wall. Uh, okay. So force of ball on wall uh, is uh, negative. The force of this is F. This is um, force of wall on ball. Yeah. Uh, a negative 3,500. So uh, 400. So we put just put a negative three four opposite direction. So uh so for force of ball on wall is a positive value. You see that? Ah, okay. Uh, because ball, this is the this is the ball. Okay, ball push the wall to the right. Ah, uh, so force of ball on wall. Is a positive value, okay? Wall, uh, wall push the ball to the left. Wall push the ball to the left. So that's why force of wall on ball is a negative uh, to the left. Uh, so that's it. So if the question asks for force of wall on ball, like this question, force of wall on ball, uh, your answer should have a negative sign. Okay, direction to the left. But if the question asks of force exerted by the ball, if let's say the question asks force exerted by the ball on wall, uh, ball on wall, uh, then your your answer is should be a positive value. Yeah, this uh, force of ball on wall should be to the right, should be a positive value, not a negative value. Uh, so you must know the difference. Yeah. You must know the difference. Okay, so uh, that's it.